to conclude we should ask i think uh, what does the foregoing analysis of these different sites in the indus civilization uh, lead us to surmise now in the first place i think as far as the distribution of sites is concerned we find that they are all well integrated all the sites are agriculturally rich right they were extremely fertile regions and they had abundance of natural resources and last but not least they had all these sites had external and internal trade routes now if we come to the question of state formation like what kind of a government did the indus cities have we have to conclude that towards the end of the indus civilization but beginning from the time of mature uh, harappan phase we witness the dominance of mohenjo-daro to some extent that is prior to 2500 bc maybe all these cities were autonomous city states they were not politically dominated by any particular power after 2500 bc there is evidence of a striking uniformity among all the centers among all the sites in indus civilization now this may have been achieved by wars and conquests but the sudden decline of early kalibangan in 2550 bc and its reconstruction in the uniform harappan style about 50 to 100 years later seem to point to this direction now lothal and several other settlements which have been discovered in recent years can also be traced to the mature harappan phase of rapid expansion and uniform reconstruction so we can say i think that in all probability there was an indus empire with mohenjo daro as the capital in fact historians herman kulke and dietmar rodermont think that i quote a new phase of imperial state formation in south asia in this program we have seen the morphology of most of the excavated sites of the indus civilization Obviously there are differences of opinion regarding some areas which can only be resolved with more scientific study of the artifacts It is quite evident that the Indus civilization was an agrarian civilization with both internal and external trade In the early stages the different cities such as Harappa Mohenjodaro Dhaulavira Kalimbangan were perhaps independent city states gradually Mohenjo-daro seems to emerge as the dominant power. This is clear by the fact that Kalibangan had one architectural style prior to 2500 BC. This style seems to have been abandoned all of a sudden. The city was rebuilt again after a century or so. Now the structures resemble that of Mohenjo-daro. Was there a war with Mohenjo-daro in which Kalibangan was destroyed and rebuilt by the rulers of Mohenjo-daro later? All these are conjectures. More research and analysis of the artifacts will shed light on the situation and perhaps one day the mist will clear from the face of Indus civilization.